So we've hit a problem with the Fokker wings. We're all ready to start moulding, make a mould of them. Um, we had them all sanded up, all neat and smooth. And then we put them next to each other and they're not the same. This one here, the, the longer one is the correct length. This one was made with a different sheet of foam. So the foam we use is this stuff. From Bunnings. And thickness 50 millimeters. And they've always been perfectly 50 millimeters. So when we put it together as a sandwich, every 50 mils um, accurately makes the, the right length. But now, this latest batch is less than 50, which in itself isn't a big problem, but when you start using, you know, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 something thicknesses, it adds up. So over the, the length of the, the wing panel, we end up with this difference. It was like, you know, 3 or 4 mils, we could live with that. But that's, that's just way too much. So when we go to make the parting board, to make the mould for these wings, we make the parting board out of um, core flute. And that's all cut on the CNC so that the angles or the shapes all fit. So that thing will sit perfectly in this little cradle wing tubes up here and then we make a mould over the top. So when we went to do this wing obviously we found totally different, too short. So basically we chuck that away. That's the bin job. That's a bin job and we live and learn. So the last oh, three or four sheets of this now we've got are all small. So we had to work out a way to use the smaller sheets. This is how we make the plugs for the wing. So this is the new left hand wing that we're making. So we've again cut all the foam sections like we did before and they're undersized. We keep everything in alignment and straight with ribs, MDF ribs that sit on the bench and we just slot foam in between. So what we're doing differently this time was made like a a gauge which will go up the middle of all these MDF ribs. So they slide in and they lock in. So if we put our normal ribs that meant to go there, like rib, that rib and that rib, and then the next MDF goes in there. You can see how that's way short. It's not fitting. It's um, these are too too small. So what we're going to have to do is space these out with extra MDF ribs. So we've made a blank rib. Oh, that's why a blank rib in there. Then the foam rib that's meant to go there and then the next um, proper rib with the legs on it so that'll slide in and then it'll lock up just so that's a snug fit so that'll sit on the bench to keep it all flat wing tubes go up to keep everything in alignment as we assemble this sandwich So another tube in here and then we put um, 12 mil dowels right the way through just to make sure everything stays where it's meant to be. So it's just a matter of assembling this sandwich and um, putting them, the ribs at the right spot, locking them in and if there's any play as the foam goes in there we just pack it out with more MDF. Not ideal but um, we have to use what we've got. So yeah. Two steps back to go three steps forward. <laughs>